There is no better way to say it. We just take care of our business. Just you can't depend on anybody else normally. But today we got the help we needed. We needed. So, you know, I feel better. I feel a bit better about the playoffs. And we're in with that win here. 27 to 13 against the Giants. First off, let's talk about the game here. And, you know, I mean, it looks like, except for, like, penalties and garbage time, our team played flawlessly, in my opinion. We had, like, a bad hand off to Gus. But other than that, it's pretty much, it was pretty much it. You know, it was pretty much that. So, it is, you know, it's pretty much, yay. You know, we just played flawlessly. Offense clicked. We had the... I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we scored in, like, every possession except for, like, one. And that possession was in garbage time also. So, I'm very happy with this team. Like, it, it just feels like this team has found his its identity back, you know? So, that is a very good sign. Bro, I'm just... I'm I, it, We're going to look scary for the playoffs. We're going to look scary for the playoffs. And if we rematch against the Titans, oh, God, if we do, it's going to be, it's, it's, it's revenge time, revenge time, revenge time, you know, and this time it's with our team. It's with our full team. So it's going to be, it's, it, I mean, not our full team, but, you know, Right now, I think it's the healthiest we've been all year, pretty much, right? I think it is. And, you know, I mean, Giants fans actually expected something. Danny Dimes. <laughs> he, 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 he's, he's nicknamed Danny Dimes, yet he can't even throw dimes, bro. Yo, he had that one pass, bro, where I just died of laughter. I just died of laughter at that pass. At, at that pass. It, it was on third down. Oh, God. Oh, shit. But, uh, hey, you know, Lamar Jackson is, again, I don't know what happened with Greg Roman. He, he just, he does what made him good. Now, you, you see Lamar looking more like Lamar. Again, they, like, stop making him what he is not. You know, so let Lamar do Lamar things. Let Lamar be Lamar. Don't make him look less like Lamar. And if you look at it, look. Our run game, though. Our run game is unstoppable. Like, no no run defense can stop it. No run defense can stop it. Like, we've been... We, we just run all over teams. And we don't even have the best running backs in the league. Like, we just have the most productive... Like, production is key. Production is key. You know, man, like, it, it is what it is. J.K. Dobbins is, is the future. He's the future of this running team. Mark Ingram, it's sad. It's pretty sad to see him not be, not even starting, being a healthy a, a healthy scratch. It's it's sad to see him like that, but, you know, it, it's reality. It's reality, you know, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's pretty, I'm sad for him, but it looks like his time in Baltimore is pretty much coming to an end. I thought we'd keep him next year and then just not re-sign him. But if you look at it, we don't need him, you know, it looks like we just don't need him. So, you know, he's, he's been, he's been one of my favorite teammates, like he's been not teammates, but like he's been probably one of my favorite players god he's he's a great guy he's uh he's a great he looks like a great teammate also you know but yeah also our defense our defense just eating eating i think judon had a good game had a pretty decent game 
honestly. Yannick and Gakwe actually being good. You know, uh, Patrick Queen, wait a sec. No, Justin Matabuke had his first career sack too. Patrick Queen has his 100 tackle. You know, so it's it's pretty good here. And uh, our, our uniform uh, uniforms were very good also. We're so pretty. But yeah, it's pretty much all I have to say about the game. I, I just, I didn't predict it well, man. I had like a 40, 38 to 10 prediction. 27 to 13, the game was, was actually, but you know, it's it, it's okay. You know, we still won. I didn't predict my team to to win. And after that, we lost. We actually won. But hey, man, the second half of the video, let's talk about uh, the other games. Oh, God. Yo, the Jets pulled it off. The Jets pulled it off against the, the Browns. Oh, the, the last the last half of it. Oh, my God. And the Steelers pulled it off against the Colts. I was... I mean, the, the Steelers should be ashamed of themselves because at some point we were relying on the Jets rather than them to actually win. Because either of these wins would help us. But now we have both. So it's even better. So it's, it's a bit thanks to Steelers now. Now Steelers, uh, go fuck yourself now. But the Browns. The Browns just lost. And I really don't want to hear the excuses of, oh, they, they had four. Like their entire team. Except for these four receivers were there. And, you know, they were playing the Jets. There's no excuse to not beat the Jets. They're a one-win team. <laughs> and Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. He lost... He lost an important game. And he might lose next week, too. God... And the and the Browns might not even make the playoffs. So, <laughs> oh, and, and he lost his record also because uh, Justin Herbert broke his rookie rookie passing touchdowns record too. So that is a bad day for him. Bad day for him, you know. And uh, for the people who were saying he was better than Lamar Jackson, hey. Uh, and by the way, L L Lamar is a better thrower than than Kyler. By the way, he, he's a better thrower than, than Kyler Murray. Second off, Lamar Jackson is way better than uh, than Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield's the worst quarterback in the AFC North. I, it, it, that's another thing. And third of all, hoof. We're spoking how many packs? How many packs at the same time? Victory cigars. Oh, God. Victory cigars. Yo, that Browns pack. That Browns and Giants pack at the same time. This is going to hit different. It's going to it's gonna bring me to Mars, bro. I swear to God. We're going to have a field day. With that, you know... With the pack smoking, bro. Two teams at a time. And one of them, it's two teams we hate the... I mean, us Ravens fans hate the most. Oh, God. So, you know, so what we need to do. What we need to do here. We win next week. We're in. We win next week. We're in. So that is, again, it's, it's no more help, stuff like that. We, we got all the help needed. We, we got all the help needed. Now we just need to beat the Bungles. And it's pretty much what it is. It's pretty much what it is. You know, it's pretty much what it is here. Beat the Bungles. Uh, they won two, two, two games in a row. So let's just not be... Uh, you know, not choke. So, yeah. 
next week, we're... So, next week, at Cincy, week 17, win this game, we're in. And if we lose, we just have to hope some things happen. Some things happen in this, uh, in, you know, probably the Browns lose or Colts loss or whatever. So, yeah. Or pro probably a Dolphins loss, too. It might happen if the Bills, especially if the Bills, you know, lose this week or or win this week, but decide just not to rest their starters. So, yeah. Um Preview coming up later this week. You know, maybe uh, I'm going to be a... I'm actually going to be away. You know, I... When I said I was going to be away, I wasn't going to. So I'm going to be away this Thursday, actually. I'm actually going to be away this Thursday. The, the, the coming Thursday, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Click on the like button. Comment down below what you think. And, yeah, guys. I'm going to see you guys... In the next one here, in the next preview, I'm gonna have a video up tomorrow too. So, see you guys in the next one.